In this video, we're going to go over how to use databases in MOE and also how to draw molecules in MOE. So databases are really important in MOE because they allow you to basically create a library of molecules that you can then use to dock that whole library into different ligands or do other computational things with that library. So let's start by making a database. To do that, we're going to go to File, New, and Database. And I'm going to save this under uh, my MOE files. And I'm going to be uh, drawing some vitamin D receptor ligands. So I'm going to call this VDR database. And here's what the database looks like. So to create a new entry into the database, I'll go to edit new entry and click OK. And here it created the new entry in the database where I can then draw molecules that I want to draw. So to do that, I would click this drop down here and click sketch and it will automatically open ChemDraw. If you have ChemDraw download on your computer, you can of course then just draw whatever molecule you'd like to draw. So here I have drawn the structure of vitamin D3. When you draw structures here, it is important to take into account stereochemistry because MOE will retain the stereochemistry. If you have a chiral center in your molecule and you put it as racemic, just draw it as racemic, MOE will just pick one isomer over the other. So it is important to take into account stereochemistry. So once I have it drawn, all I need to do is close out of ChemDraw and it will send me back to MOE. And then you can see here, it has the structure pulled up. All I need to do is click OK. And then it should add it to the database. And you can see when I pull up the database, it has the structure added. So now I can go ahead and name this by clicking the drop down and clicking the set name. I'm going to call this vitamin D3 and hit apply and it changes the name. I can then view this structure in MOE if I click the drop down and click send to MOE and you can see it puts the structure in MOE or I can then move it around and manipulate it how I want to. So that was the first way to draw structures in MOE. So now to draw another structure, I'm first going to clear this out. And I'm going to go back to the database and click Edit, New, Entry. And so right now, of course, there's nothing in it. So let's say we want to draw a structure in there very similar to vitamin D3. I could go back to ChemDraw and draw the whole structure again and then close out ChemDraw and put that structure in. But since we want to draw a structure that's very similar, there's an easier way to put this structure in there. To do this, we'll first send the structure of vitamin D3 back to MOE, like you see here. I can then click the Builder tab over here and it brings up all these tools I can use to edit the structure. So let's say I want to start by deleting this group up here. If I click this carbon and then click the delete key on my keyboard, I can just start deleting some of the carbons here. Let's say then I want to change this OH group over here to an amine. What I can do is click on the oxygen and then click the nitrogen icon. And it'll change that to an amine. Then let's say I want to add an OH on the opposite side of this ring. What I can do is right now on this carbon it is showing that there's two hydrogens. If I click one of those hydrogens and press the oxygen icon, then it'll change that to an oxygen. Now you see that since I chose the hydrogen that's pointed backwards, it added this oxygen pointed backwards. If I would have put the oxygen on this hydrogen, it would have added the oxygen pointed forwards. If I want to add a carbon chain here, I can press on this hydrogen, add a carbon there. It already selected that hydrogen there, so I can continue adding carbons and continue adding carbons as long as I want that carbon chain. So now, let's say this is the structure that I then want to add to the database. I can then go back to the database, click the drop down on the blank entry, and press get from MOE, and press OK, and then it will put in the structure that we just drew. So now I'll check that. Let's close out this. Let's close out this structure, and go back to our database, and if I click the drop down and click send to MOE, you can see we have the structure that we just edited, where we have the amine that we put in there and the oxygen and that carbon chain. So now let's close this out. And I'm gonna draw a few more structures in the database that we'll then use to later dock those into MOE. All right, back in our database, I have a few more structures drawn here. So another way you can view these is to hit file and browse. And it'll bring up this screen here where you can see the structure and it'll also put the three-dimensional structure in MOE. So the first structure, of course, we have here is the vitamin D3. I can then go to the next structure using the arrows here. The next structure I have drawn is vitamin D2. 
which has a double bond put in there. And if we move this around, we can see the double bond put in at that position. Then going to the next structure, I have drawn one of the final metabolites of vitamin D, calcitroic acid, which has a second OH group, this time pointed forwards here, and also a carboxylic acid in this position. So we can take a look what that looks like in MOE. You can see we have the second OH group on there, and also the carboxylic acid there. Lastly, I have the glucuronic acid metabolite drawn of calcitroic acid. So this would be a phase two metabolite of calcitroic acid. And you can see it has a molecule of glucuronic acid put onto one of the OH groups there. And you can see what that looks like in MOE. Now, one of the important things I'd like to point out is if we take a look at this molecule, we of course have the carboxylic acid here and the glucuronic acid molecule here. So that means we have two carboxylic acids here and you see that right now both of them are protonated, so they have the OH functionality on both of the carboxylic acids. However, if we're going to be docking them into the vitamin D receptor, that would presumably be a biological receptor under biological pH. Therefore, that would mean that the carboxylic acids would be deprotonated, and if we happen to have any amines in this molecule, they would be protonated. So we now need to deprotonate these carboxylic acids to make sure they can correctly dock into the receptor. To do that, we're going to close our browsing window and go back to the database. And we know that calcitroic acid also has carboxylic acid functionality on it. So we can send that to MOE. And we see the carboxylic acid here that is currently protonated. So to deprotonate that, we can go to Builder. And if we press on the oxygen here, we can press the negative one charge here because we know that if this is deprotonated, it'll have a negative one charge. We see once we press that, the hydrogen has been removed, and we now have the deprotonated carboxylic acid. Now it won't show here the negative charge. However, because we chose a negative one charge, the hydrogen has been removed, and we do now have a deprotonated carboxylic acid with a negative charge. So from here, we can go back to our database, go to calcitroic acid, click the dropdown, and click get from MOE. We can then check to make sure it's been deprotonated. So I'm gonna close this. Close the structure, go onto our database, go to browse, and go until I get to calcitroic acid, and we see that we now have the negative charge here on the carboxylic acid. So let's then go do the same thing with the glucuronic acid. So we'll close this. So we'll send the glucuronic acid conjugate to MOE. Go to Builder. Here's the first carboxylic acid, so I'll press on the oxygen there. Press the negative one charge, and that's been deprotonated. Here's the second carboxylic acid. Press on the oxygen and deprotonate that. Then go back to our database, press the drop down, get from MOE, and OK. And great, now we have deprotonated all the carboxylic acids here in the molecules. So that is how you draw structures in MOE. In the next video, we will use these four structures to dock into the vitamin D receptor.